Hello fellow bookquesters, it is I, Aaron the Bookquester, and today I'm going to introduce you to this awesome book. The Books of Beginning, Book 3, The Black Reckoning, author of the, by, uh, by the author of the Emerald Atlas, John Stephens, and, and it says the New York Times bestselling series, and it's there, and it's kind of pun actually, it's ironic. Their only chance at life is finding the Book of Death. <coughs> so let's get right on to it. Kate and Michael are the keepers of each the Atlas of Time and the Chronicle of Life. And Emma, she is supposed to have the third book, the Book of Death or the Black Reckoning. And this book the they the magicians, wizards, men, dwarves, and elves come together to fight against the forces of the dire madness. Moram Kadi, the ghouls or the screechers, imps with their studded maces and their weapons, dragons and hydras, and hundreds of different beasts is guarding the, the great house of the Dire Magnus, and the Dire Magnus shall strike the royal citadel, the final refugee for the good guys. By that I mean the magicians, the dwarves, the wizards, and the elves, and the men. They are staying there, and they want to fight. Could they, but they have no chance against toppling the great Dire Magnus's army. For it was not all the dwarves, not all the elves, not all the humans, and not all... Every creature who can fight for Rose Citadel is not there. It's like one quarter of them is here. And if we had all of them, they could finally defeat the Dire Magnus, or even have a chance at it. But the, the, but the Dire Magnus knows one thing. The end of the prophecy that the three children, the siblings, Kate, Michael, and Emma is involved in the prophecy that can make, that can save Michael, Emma, and Kate's lives. Because for there are two ways for this to happen. The books must be destroyed. Why? Because every time someone uses the book's powers, the world unravels. And if those books continue to exist, one day the world shall end. And because of this, they must stop it. Stop from the books destroying the world. And the only way for the books to be destroyed is when the magic of the books is completely transferred into the keeper's body, and that keeper could be killed. So the only way to save the world was to kill the keeper of the Atlas and the Chronicle and the Black Reckoning. The keepers, who are the three main character siblings, could they sacrifice themselves? Of course not. What kind of book has their main character died? That sucks. So, so Emma, she find they find out the location of the Black Reckoning. It is inside the realm of the dead, and only the keeper could pass through. There, Emma finds out that she has to judge the living and the dead, for her to be the full keeper and release the full power of the reckoning. And at last, when Michael's spirit was taken away, when the great Kate's soul was taken away, and it absorbed into the dire Magnus's body. And the dire Magnus, that was his plan. For the end of the prophecy spoke of the final keeper. For all three powers that of time, of life, of death could be concentrated into one keeper. And the dire Magnus said it would be him. And when the Dire Magnus has absorbed two of the of the books of beginnings, the Atlas and the Chronicle, Emma, our dear Emma, got the Black Reckoning and ripped the tight patchwork of the Dire Magnus's souls. Before and before and before, before and before and before. For the Dire Magnus was reborn again and again, and the Several hundred generation after generation spirit of the Dire Magnus was piled up on top of each other. And Emma, she ripped it all away, except the final Dire Magnus and 
the first Dire Magnus. Rafe and the first one. And finally, when Kate stabbed Rafe plus the first Dire Magnus in the heart, the Dire Magnus disappeared and only Rafe was left. And Rafe, he sacrificed himself for the world and for the siblings. He destroyed himself, therefore ensuring that the books too shall be destroyed. And well, this is a really great book, mostly because number one, time travel plus fantasy. I've said that multiple times before. Second, it's like you have great power. You have some sort of great power, but it's like limiting it with a deadline. Like if you do it, do if you use it too much, the world shall end. I mean, that kind of balances out the creational power of the of the big books at the beginning, which makes this entire story a little more thrilling because well what's the point if you could if you could just snap your fingers and your enemy could die. But that cost the magic that cost shall be to destroy the world. So the books can only be used used as a final resort. And I think that really balances out the great strength and um, I'm very happy of this like happy ending because the family is reunited, but several people has to die in the process. Thankless Pym, the wizard, and Gabrielle, the one who had protected Emma and the siblings for a long time. I think this is a really great book. And th in the part where Emma has to judge the living and the dead, it's like Jesus. I mean, the prophecy says that he will, well... <laughs> Just living and the dead. I mean, I think that's really interesting. And like always, your bookquester, Aaron the bookquester. A must read, guys.